This is my wife, Yuka. As you can see, she's a bit of a sender. But it hasn't always been this way. Like all mountain bikers, she was a beginner once. Eee, I did the same! She started out like most of us do, in a skills park, honing her skills. Over time, she would get comfortable on more technical terrain. Sure, there were ups and downs. She didn't fall in love with the sport right away. But visits to the bike park soon came, and while the local wildlife kept her interested, it wasn't long till she was sending drops. And we would soon start traveling to ride. From the deserts of America, to alpine epics in British Columbia. Over the years, as her love for the sport increased, her progression accelerated. But like most riders, she largely relied on help from others to get things done, whether it was being towed in or taking instruction from a coach. Fast forward to today, and that's all about to change. If you've been watching either of our channels, you'll have seen that we've been traveling through British Columbia along the Yellowhead Highway. So far, we've stopped in Prince George, Burns Lake, and Smithers. And now, we've just arrived in Terrace. This is where Yuka would start to take the lead. Joined by a new friend, Andrea, we started our way down a trail called Shangri-La. It's a unique line that features islands of granite slab connected by ribbons of Burmy single track. But soon we arrived at a feature called Return to Sender that had us all scratching our heads. Oh yeah, definitely more techy than the other one we did, Yuka. Don't think about negative way. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, positive, honey. Okay. This is not that big. No, but it's, uh, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You just have to know where to go, I guess. Although both Yuka and I had done much larger drops in the past, this one was quite technical. It had a corner with some rocks to navigate. The exit is at an angle and the trees next to the landing continue to force you left. And all this must be done at speed. Basically it's different from any drop I've ever done. And it put me out of my comfort zone, resulting in doubt and indecisiveness. Oh, it didn't seem that bad, but I feel like I should be, I should follow somebody. No the speed, no the line. Mm. Give me confidence. I think I know the line. I think I know what to do, it's just, the reassurance of seeing someone do it, you know? I think it's okay, no? I think it's pretty decent. It's just, yeah, the, the corner before it. <laughs> I don't like drops, you know? <laughs> it was certainly out of Yuka's comfort zone as well. Okay, we'll do it. But if she decides to go, the decision has been made. Whoa. Yeah, I didn't have enough speed, but that's okay. Very good. I was a bit sketchy though. Yeah, you went pretty slow. Was I? Oh yeah. Very good, Yuka. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. While it was nice to see someone do it, I still wasn't comfortable with the idea of hucking my meat over the thing. And since I'm supposed to be the more experienced rider, I was now putting pressure on myself to do it. This was the result of not being fully comfortable in the feature. Ooh, that was bad. I braked at the top because I thought I was going the wrong way. Now you can do it. I can do better than that. Yes. No, I thought it was... 
I was going the wrong way. Mm. And I hit the brakes. I was looking at those trees. You have to look for, look ahead, honey. Don't look at tree. <laughs> yeah. Wanting to improve on my previous performance, I went up for another try. Nice. Still not that nice. Yeah, it just doesn't feel that good. Like, I think I didn't pop. I pulled and then my front tire's already off the ground. Yeah, I think it's a little misleading this edge because it's on an angle. So in your periphery, like, you might be like, oh, I still have a ways to go, but you don't. With the drop behind us, we could relax a bit and enjoy the trail. Until we arrive to the next unorthodox feature. Oh man. Basically it's just a normal jump, but placed in an unusual setting. This looks sketchy. I think it's fine, but it's just the, it, the environment it's in, you know, like it's up against this rock. Yeah, the lip is kind of like uh, on an angle. <laughs> Not in the right headspace, I figured I was over it. While Andrea and I talked about relevant topics, Yuka wasn't about to give up so easily. Ligaments here ripped off the bone. So. You don't have to do it. But jump is fun. That we have that. <laughs> She's still thinking. <laughs> One more time? You gonna send it? I think she's gonna send it. <laughs> oh! Nice. How was that? I used quite a bit of brake actually. Yeah, I think it's pretty slow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Again, I was happy to see you could do it. But somehow I also felt like I should do it as well. Okay, come on, Eric. Okay, come on, let's go. All right. <laughs> Good practice. Hitting weird stuff. Are you happy? Ah, a little frustrated with myself. <laughs> what? To be honest. Okay. Yeah. Over the years, I've improved my fitness and my skills on the bike. During the BC bike race, I placed 35th out of 600 people. I've raced a six-day blind enduro race on BC's toughest trails. I've hit 25-foot gap jumps. I've ridden gnarly rock faces. <laughs> but after all of this, my mind is still my biggest weakness. If there's any doubt, I struggle. And this is where Yuka is superior. It's her mind. She's able to flip that switch and say, I'm going. She doesn't think about consequences. She only thinks about the task at hand. And that's something I wish I had. And the next ride would present another opportunity for Yuka to excel. The following day, we would pass through the lava beds of the Nass Valley. Just across the river is the village of Gitwinselk. It's a pretty special place. With totem poles watching over the village, one is reminded of the rich history here. 
And of course, as time moves along, the people here continue to add to their history. This time, by adding mountain bike trails to their community. To warm up, we hit the green trail. And then the blue flow trail. But the black jump line, Leaping Lizard, is the one we really came for. <laughs> Sick. With beautifully sculpted berms and inviting tabletops, the trail is sure to attract visitors from far and wide, as it did for us. Seeing as the trail is quite intuitive, I was able to hit everything on my first attempt. But like Shangri-La the day before in Terrace, a feature stopped us in our tracks. A double black step down. Holy crap. Ah, drop. That's a long one. The feature felt pretty goalposty to me with a tree on the left and rocks and more trees on the right. And at 23 feet long, the speed required to clear it meant that the consequence for messing up was high. Mm. Did you say anybody hit this? No. Hmm. Looks pretty high consequence to me. Maybe I'll just try land here. Just go slow. Yeah. tested it out as well. Wow, it's so fast. It's a down, step down, so step down is good. Step down is good. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna hit it? Yes, sure. Really? The so step down, step down is okay. So make sure you're really looking ahead. Yeah. So from back up there, you can actually see these trees, right? Yes. So make sure you're going the right way, okay? She makes me nervous too. <laughs> she really does make me nervous, and part of me wants her not to do it. But I've seen her do similar features in the past, so I won't stop her. But I am truly really nervous for her. <laughs> nice! You made it look good. Yeah, but I'm still like a brake check before a little bit. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's uh, it's blind. I don't see the landing. Scary. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Good job. You're very impressive, you know. You wanna follow me? Sure. I don't trust you like I trust Antoine though. I know. Yeah, but I understand. Yeah, that's a natural feeling, you know. <sighs> Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you did it? That was better. Better? That's good. Yay! High touch. High touch. <laughs> Not many guys have a partner that will send features first. But I do, and I feel like the luckiest guy in the world. Sure, I'm scared for her at times. And she does crash fairly often. Oh! But she somehow escapes injury every time. It's clear to me that while fitness, strength, and skill are important, it's the mental game that separates the good from the great. And Yuka has that in spades. Woo! So to all those women out there, stay gnarly. I know Yuka will. Thanks for towing me in. Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Usually it's the other way, but... Uh, it's nice to be the other way around sometime, no? Exactly. Hmm.